How you doing? I'm Thomas Bell, Atomic Hops here in Lodi, California. We're here looking at our uh, our hop yard, and this is our Cascade variety. I'm here with my partner, Art Prudell. Fourth generation farmer uh, out of Lodi, California. And we're standing here in our wonderful Cascade block, one of the first hops planted in Lodi within the last 20 to 30 years. What can you tell us about this Cascade hop? And we're about, what, two weeks from harvest, so the uh, do you call these cones? Will these yeah, get a little these, bit bigger? These cones will will grow bigger. You know, they're still their oil levels are still being produced and everything else. So once we once they get bigger, we'll start testing. We are sending them off for testing. We already got some testing back, and our levels are extremely promising. Extremely promising. From two, when did we send a week ago. We sent them last week. We t sent five pounds of Cascade, five pounds of Chinook, which is just on the other side of our Cascade block here, and we received those test within 24 hours and from testing results that they had from New York, Michigan, uh, the Northwest area, we were very competitive with our results that came in. And we were early. And we are early, a lot early. We're, we're probably about three or four weeks ahead of their timing and wow. their harvesting schedules. Yeah. One thing that you will see within the Cascade varietal, we got a lot more nuggets per vine. They are a smaller nugget. They will get a little bit bigger, not much, but when you pick one of these suckers, what you're looking for as they get closer to harvest is they will start boxing up. These ones here are a little bit more round, but this is, if you look, it's turning into kind of a square. And then you open that up, you'll find the lupulins in the center there. That's what holds all your oils, your flavoring for the beer and aromas. And as you can see, it's a yellow tint right now, but there is some orange hiding in there on that top corner. That'll start to turn orange as you go down within the next couple weeks as we get closer to harvest. It's fascinating. Boy, and the aromas coming off of that are absolutely really amazing. amazing, aren't they? <laughs> they are. <laughs> if we walk right through here, we'll be right into our Chinook, which we can see the difference of the sizes of tones. As you can see, it doesn't look like as big as a crop, but your cones are a lot, lot bigger compared to the Cascade. This yeah. is a Chinook. And as you can see, they are very boxy compared to boxy and a lot longer than the Cascade. These ones here are actually pretty close to harvest, ready to harvest now. As you can see, that yellow tint, that yellow lupulin is a lot more orange on this varietal than it is on the Cascade. That means that we're hitting a moisture content point to where we're ready to harvest here within the next 10 to 14 days. The Cascade will probably be about another 15 to 20 days, about yeah. five days off cool. of a Chinook varietal. Yeah. yeah, and these are, these are ready to go as soon as they're harvest for any brewers they're looking for.